I wanted to talk to you about the COVID-19 vaccine, which is now becoming available to the public. Vaccines are a life-saving form of medicine that protects you before you get sick. But there is a lot of misinformation about how they work or what effects they can have. Vaccines are made from weakened versions of a disease that cannot hurt you. In the case of the COVID vaccines, new technology has been used to help make them faster than ever before. But while the research was done quickly, all of these vaccines had to undergo large research studies involving tens of thousands of people before they were labeled as safe to use. The COVID vaccines had to go through the same processes as every other kind of medicine. To be blunt, vaccines are overwhelmingly safe and effective. They are one of the best ways to keep yourself safe and healthy. And because of how easy COVID-19 is to spread, a vaccine is also one of the best ways that you can help keep the people around you safe. Right now, the vaccine is in short supply. If you have the chance to take the COVID-19 vaccine, this is good news, as the more people who take the vaccine, the sooner life can get back to normal. If you take a vaccine, you might have some mild side effects, but there is no link between vaccines and long-term illnesses. In all honesty, you shouldn't be getting medical advice from anyone on the internet. You should get medical advice from a doctor. If you have any questions, they're the ones you should reach out to, not pages online. There's a lot of misinformation on the internet, but your doctor cares about your health, just like we care about your health. But they have more training than we do, so again, we suggest that you speak to one of them. But please, don't be afraid of getting a vaccine because of some of the misinformation that you see online. This is something that could save your life. It's worth taking seriously. Thank you for taking a few minutes to listen, and we hope that you and your loved ones are staying healthy and safe until we're able to open our classrooms again.